Hey guys, so today is Sunday the 18th? No, Sunday the 17th. And um, there's really no sign of Riley coming out yet. So um, we've just been super lazy, just been just relaxing on the couch, watching TV really, because nothing that we do is getting her out of there. So um, tomorrow we have another doctor's appointment. At that doctor's appointment, we're gonna talk about um, just the plans. The plan as of right now is I'll be induced Tuesday morning. So that's Tuesday the 19th. So right now we're just gonna go to Cracker Barrel and have a nice like lunch slash dinner and then come back home and relax some more, I guess. Um, Joe was definitely nesting last night at three in the morning. He was like, I don't know, I didn't even know what he was doing, but he woke me up and he was like throwing away stuff in the recycling bin. He was like cleaning up, emptying the dishwasher. So he's definitely nesting. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a sign that she's coming a little earlier than we think. Right, so it's the 17th, like about seven o'clock, and we are on our way to um, the hospital because I think I might be leaking some amniotic fluid. So just gonna, I, I left a voicemail for the doctor. The doctor returned my call and was like, yeah, you should probably just go into the hospital to get checked, and then we'll kind of take it from there. So we are on our way. Got our bags just in case. And that's what they say. You did good, you were able to get out of the house in like 15 minutes, so did good. If it's nothing, then that's great, and uh, that was a good trial run. We're gonna have our baby Riley. It's 8.50 p.m. and we came in because I thought that I was leaking some fluid and sure enough my water broke and we are staying. So this is our labor room. Joe just went down to get our bags and they're gonna start hooking me up and hopefully we're gonna have our baby soon. So it is 11.03 and they're continuing to give me Pitocin. Um, the nurse won't tell me like if she's upping it by how much, but um, they're continuing to up my Pitocin. But so far I'm feeling good. Um, I'm barely feeling my contractions up until this point. Um, I've got my little fan with me. Got a little fan because it's really hot in here. Um, but it's keeping me nice and cool and I'm eating my ice chips. So we're just, uh, just waiting, hanging out. You hear the heartbeat. How is it feeling? I love better. I love better. So it is 11.30 and just hanging out here in the bed. They're monitoring my contractions. She says I've got um, some pretty good, consistent contractions going on so far. Thankfully, they haven't been too painful. Feel a little bit of pressure. Now they're starting to kind of kick in a little bit more where I'm feeling a lot more pressure, but just relaxing and eating my ice chips. And I think she said at around midnight she would check me for dilation. So in like another half hour, she'll check to see if I've made any progress. When I came in earlier, um, when I went to triage, I was still at like two centimeters and 70% effaced. So we'll see if I've made any progress since then, but just relaxing for now. Daddy is over there, my mama. Waiting for little Riley Bean. I also had to pee in a bedpan. That was not fun. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> yeah, I peed in a bedpan for the first time and it was awful. I felt like I was peeing all over myself. It's 
4.05 in the morning. We're watching Ghostbusters 2. So they ended up having to give me Cytotech for my cervix. So I think they gave me that around 1 o'clock. And it has to be in there for like 4 hours. So in another hour at 5 they're going to check me. Let's see if that made any difference. And then I think at that point they're either going to give me another dose of it. Or we'll get on the Pitocin. I'm taking my blood pressure. This thing is like cutting my arm off. I am starting to feel some pretty strong contractions. A lot of lower back pain. I'm just trying to breathe. The anesthesiologist already came in and started asking me some questions, so we'll see when I'm going to be getting my epidural. So I survived the night. It's 11 in the morning and um, I'm 6 centimeters dilated. Still feeling a lot of pressure, but um, making progress, which is good. My contractions are still very big. but. They're not at least, they're not painful. It's just like a lot, a lot of pressure down there. I upped my um, medicine that they are giving me through the epidural. See if that helps a little bit. But um, like I said, there's definitely progress being made. So that's good. I am very, very tired. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. When she gets here, I'm gonna be just so exhausted. But I did get to sleep. I slept like for maybe an hour, an hour and a half, which helped me a lot. But they had me laying down on like my right hand side for a while, and like all the medication went to my right side. And when I woke up, um, like my whole right side of my face was numb, so like I couldn't even open like my right eyeball. It was like super weird. I looked like I had gotten hit in the face. So that was weird. And I can't, really can't feel my legs too much, so they just kind of fall. We changed the board for the new date. Hi. Hold on. I, they gave me some better drugs so that I wouldn't be in so much pain. But I feel like I have a bowling ball in the middle of my vagina. <laughs> Very painful. Yeah. Right now it feels... Eight centimeters. Almost there. Awesome. You doing awesome. Like, you have an idea for first, uh, first time labor? I mean, this really started going at five. Five in the morning, and it's 12.35 when you're eight. Daddy's, Daddy's getting ready to meet his baby girl. You ready to meet yes, Baby Riley? Yes, I am. Uh. Waiting for Baby Riley. Show me the shirt that I got you. Oh, you have to get up? Yeah. I love it. You gonna put it on as soon as Riley comes out? <laughs> so cute. Boom. Happening. It's getting real.
too. I'm off today. Come on. Give me another. See if she likes the car ride. Going home. Like you guys placed her. Okay, you gotta unswaddle her though. Of course. We got all the stuff. We're gonna. It's all in the in the thing. Just in case. Come here, girl. Your first car ride, we're going home. Did you purposely put Christmas music? Oh, classical music. <laughs> it's okay. We have precious cargo. Look, we're home. There's all these Christmas lights. So many Christmas lights. You did it, Daddy. Yes. Got us home safe. So scared. She slept through the whole thing. Nugget is like, what? Nugget doesn't know what to do. She slept through the whole ride. Ah, ah. 
Riley Bean. Welcome home, baby girl. Little Nug. Give him love. Oh, okay. <laughs> she is she's so comfy. Riley Bean. Hey Nug. I don't even know. It's probably your car. Yeah, right. Well, you've been welcome home, Mama. What did you call you? It's super big on her, but I just put that on her. It's cute. With her little hat that Mimi got her. Mimi and Grampy. But it almost doesn't fit her head. Really? <laughs> She's got a big head. <laughs> no, but the hat is like a little small. Put this back. Little baby. <gasps> Hi, little Riley. So she's nice and toasty. Mm -hmm. She's gonna have to eat now soon, but you are so good in the car, Mama. So good. Little Riley Bean. <laughs> Welcome home. Graham is inspecting the car seat, trying to figure out what this new smell is. Who's that, Nug? Who's that, Nug? Hi, Mama. She gets to be here for Christmas. Today is December 21st. It's her first meal at home. Oh! Uh oh! Here. Where do I put it? Just here? She's so perfect. What does she think of it? Huh? Look <laughs> how fun that is! Which setting is that one? Kangaroo? 